Friday, I was waiting for my boyfriend Ben at a restaurant. It was our second anniversary. It was quite delayed, but he didn't show up. I was devastated that he left me alone just waiting for him too on the day of our anniversary. I left the restaurant in the bitterness. I immediately took my car and started going back towards my home. As I was driving, I realized that it was too late as I could hardly see anyone on the highway. I wouldn't lie, but I was scared. Suddenly, I saw a man in the middle of the road. I honked at him, but he didn't move. He was standing there, so I stopped my car about one minute away from him and I said, Are you blind? Now just move from my way. He moved towards me and yelled, Don't come close to me or else I will call the police. I think he got scared by the name of the police and immediately moved from my way. When I was crossing him, I saw his face. He was scared. His eyes were at me. He also had some cuts on his face and I saw that blood was dripping from the, his clothes. That moment my heart got stuck. I was thinking that maybe he must have killed someone or maybe he is about to kill someone else. I stopped my car and I saw he was still standing there. His face was towards my car. I immediately called the police. I told them everything. They told me to lock my car completely just to be there and keep an eye on him. They will be coming in 10 minutes. I agreed. As soon as I hung up the car, I saw that now that man was standing quite close to me. That made me feel okay. I started my car slowly and moved it some distance away from him and stopped my car. The next moment I saw the scariest moment of my life. He took out a knife from his left pocket and started chopping his fingers one by one. I just couldn't believe my eyes. It was horrifying. It made me feel as if he was chopping my fingers. I couldn't feel my hand anymore. The next morning, I woke up at a hospital and I saw my boyfriend and my family sitting near me. I asked them, how I was in the hospital. They told me that my Bane was coming to the restaurant to meet me, but his car made with a minor accident, so he couldn't make it on time, and due to the accident, his phone was damaged. The police also arrived at the same time, and I was unconscious inside the car. The police told me that they couldn't find the person I described to them. I could never forget what I was that day. I still get nightmares about what I saw that night.